Great, how are we all doing? Got a little gadget here for go through. Most people with um, Audi's, Golfs, anything VW and Audi corporate, like Skoda as well, I believe they do, is one of these OBD11 packs. Now these are like, um, you know, like your VCDS and stuff like that. They're probably not as quite as in-depth as VCDS, but they, they are quite, change a lot of things on your vehicle. But you can also use it for fault finding and stuff like that. And basically, it's just a little keyring piece that plugs in. Little keyring there that pull it out and it plugs into your OBD meter at the bottom. Show you that where that is. So you've got a pop floor here. You can just see it up here. Just where my hand is there. You can see it just plugs into that. I've had loads of problems on, on um, some of my old vehicles. I always had problems, but uh, one of them was my um, Audi. I had an Audi A4 Avant. For some reason, I have to program been missing something like the mirrors, automatic mirrors, and folding and closing and stuff like that. And just like daft things like media player and stuff, you know, for adjusting your media player in that. It, it was like really handy for that and what i'll do i'll plug it in now and i'll show you a screenshot onto it but i had a q7 as well and the q7 um i had a problem because it was like the wife was doing short journeys and stuff like that or i was doing short runs the dpf was getting clogged up now trying to take it on a motorway run trying to get the, uh, the regen to kick in was an absolute nightmare sometimes it'd do it sometimes it wouldn't and then you get back your light comes up um as your management light there's a dpf fault so it's good for reading fault codes and stuff like that so what I used to do is plug this in and you go to long coding and on the long coding you can actually force regen on it. So that's probably handy for like quite a few people with a few VWs, you know, you need to do a force regen. You could do it on your driveway and just like run there and it's run through the system, do the regen, come out and it's cleared. So you got your DPF filter has been basically just burned out really, which not too sure if it's a, a recommended thing to do, but like I say, it does do it. But you can also, if you do your own servicing and stuff like that, you can reset your service lights on the app and stuff. So what I'll do is... I'll stick it on. There's two versions of this one before I stick it on. So you've got the Pro version, which is a 12 month subscription on that. I think the unit's about 100, 100 quid. I'll leave a link below you can see to see it like. The Pro one, you get like unlocks more. So you've got long code adapting. You've got tokens on it as well where you can buy a talk. You can get free tokens every day if you log onto it, but you can also buy tokens to do like the needle sweeps, the mirrors, stuff like that. And you can do everything from this app. It's dead easy to use. And this was the old version. Now this one only worked, you can still buy these now, but this one only worked on um, Android where I used to have an old Android tablet and it was crap, so I, I give up with that. So basically I, I bought the Pro version, but because I had an old subscription, basically I get the Pro for lifetime, which is quite a good thing really. So what we'll do, we'll get this plugged in. You find your OBD port, which is up there on the driver's side of man, and then you plug this in right way around, and you'll see it go red when it's connected. There it is, that's connected in red. And then what we'll do, you'll have to excuse John's mess. This is the bomb site as usual. It's got its own app. So it's all app, upload free credit. So every day you log into it, you get a free credit off it, which is a bit of a bonus really. What was that? So basically now, the device is plugged in. The ignition on, on the vehicle. I don't think you need to put the ignition on light, but I always put it on anyway. So it's very device, click on that. Auto box system there, definite must have. Rear view camera and also front recording. Oh, we've got a subscriber, cheers, Paul. Right, so that's logged in now. You see now, mine's come up as a VW transport, it's showing me battery uh, 11.7 volts, which is not good. You'll have to check that one. I think my battery's on its way out, so it's quite handy for that, really. You can select your own vehicles on it, like tap to scan, and this basically now will do um, a quick check of all my functions on the van and we'll see if we've got any faults on it and stuff. It's quite handy, really. So we'll see what that comes up with. Sometimes it can take ages, this, and sometimes it can be quite quick. One problem's found already, as you can see on that. So we'll see what that comes up with in a minute. Sometimes you will get some problems on it, like just sometimes it's just like generic shite what's on it, but we'll have a check anyway, make sure there's nothing serious on it. My van's also due a service as well. Right, so we've got two problems. Let's have a look. You click on them. This shows you breakdown, so you've got like your engine side, note on that. Uh, wheels angle sensor central electrics this one usually always comes up this one all the time ignition start switch so you just click google on that one and then that'll just give you like a bit of a search on it and it, they give you a bit of, it gives you a bit of information as well sometimes there's information sometimes there's not um and you can just flick through it ignition loss of power so you can go through stuff like that and have a look and you can google yourself on it you know what it is but then we'll just go back to app anyway so we know that one's the good thing about these is you can clear the faults as well. You know, if you actually do fix it, rather than going to a garage and spending a fortune. Next one, gateway. I think it's something to do with the radio, this one. Combination comfort data bus. 
yet again it's you can google it see what that comes up with and then description data bus comfort system single wire operation and then it gives you a breakdown of what you know it's everything that works on the car then it's, it's fine we go back to the vehicle again now you can change the description of what stuff is it gives you your, your your numbers and all that crap your mileages your history of the car what apps you've done so the history of it what control any faults on it and that's so they're quite handy if you go and buy in a vw you know if you plug it in and you can see what passive faults are on the unit anything what's gone on what miles it was at what was faulty stuff you know there's all sorts um apps now the, this is the good stuff here now this is where you can actually change um systems in your car so like driver heat seat me, uh, seat heat and memory you can change the way your uh, original stereo system works miles at aftermarket so it's not good that one you can activate rear view camera developer menus the themes of it hidden menus that's good for going into changing stuff we i think we added on one of my audis with the sat nav uh, upgraded all the sat nav on it for free which is a buzz, buzz. Uh, speed thresholds uh, so you've got all sorts of adjustments you've got retrofits so say if you put um, led lights in your rear plate you can actually activate that and it shows you 10 credits if you want to um buy it's like i said you, you get free credits every day so it's up to you when you do you got workshop stuff so do your own service inspection service reset oil service reset heater unlock i think that's it for cab heaters you know if you've got like heater in, in like an external heater not an external heater um auxiliary heaters i think they are and sometimes they get stuck and you can do that but you can search for other stuff as well there's tons and tons of stuff what you can go to yeah so these are all the vehicles you do volkswagen Audi, seat skoda lamborghini and bentley's as well so it's right for bentley's really i didn't know bentley's under that so we'll go to vehicle district apps control units and this is the one where you can change stuff on it so say for example um you want to do the needle sweep on your dashboard and stuff like that you can go into it and you can do long coding adaptation output tests there's absolute ton of stuff you do you can look at the status of stuff you can check it you see what's what me personally i think these are a definite most these you know for any even if you just for peace of mind really just check it yourself and stuff just to make sure things are working and that like it's a case of plug it in you can check it anywhere i mean i stick my dashboard me and the apps on my phone i can check it anytime i want but it's really handy for you know trying to fault find stuff and you know showing error codes up and you pay a fortune at garages for just for scan your car and tell you what's wrong with it when there's a google function on that you can just check it and see what it is and it, nine times out of ten it'll give you a description or somebody's then come across that that fault and you can you can repair it yourself you can save an absolute killer so it's definitely worth it like say it's called obd11 pro get them on amazon ebay there's loads of places you can get them from the apps just download from the app stores and like i said for sake of 100 quid i've had man for quite a few years now and they've worked on all my cars and i've had no issues there and like i said it's it's solved a few problems but it's absolutely meant victron it's going well so it's getting updates on that i've had no issues with the victron and i've had no issues with the ring set up in the way it is so they've been quite good if you're interested in those installs i'll stick a link up uh no doubt it'll probably come up that way and you can have a look at them but like i said definite essential for any vw audi owner like i said if you like your sort of stuff give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe See you around. Where is?